minute flowers today, so stay with us. This segment is sponsored by Martin Supermarkets. It's a Martin's Monday and they have you covered today with the dinner recipe ideas and where you can get flowers today. Take a look. Well, it's Valentine's Day and I am here with two sweet chicks <laughs> in the kitchen and at the Martin's Test Kitchen with Chef April and Nikki from the floral department. We'll get to you in a little bit, but first, <laughs> what have you got going on here? This is so cool. So you don't have to t order take in, you can make your own, right? So we're going to do fondue. You can make your own. You can, I'm going to show you how easily this oh can gosh. be done. I can learn new things. Right. So we're going to do a savory cheese fondue and then we're we're gonna do a sweet turtle flambe fondue, okay? okay. Little fire. Fondue. So I've already made this ahead of time because you don't want it to break. That's very simply where like the proteins will, they look, they break apart. They don't look nice and smooth. So all this is, is it's a sharp cheddar. Um, mix it up a little bit more. It's sharp cheddar, has a little bit of um, cornstarch in it to keep it together. Okay. And then you're just gonna find all these like favorite little nibbles around the house. And you're gonna put it around the house in your fridge, right? You're gonna go to Martin's grocery store and you're gonna find all these delicious things. So anything that would go from cheese. So I have some marinated steak bites, I have some oh. fresh mushrooms, some cooked sausage. Of course, apples go great with it, broccoli yeah. as well. Really? And some like little breads. Broccoli? Yeah. yeah. Have you never had, oh, you should have vegetables. You try that one. No, I'm not. Well, later I, I, I will. I'm gonna try the you. apple thing, right? So. So, you know, the thing about fondue is like, for me, is like, oh, it's really good in the in the moment, right? Yes. But how do you keep it, you know, warm? Right, and that's the thing is you want to oh. keep it warm so that it does stay nice and stretchy and mm -hmm. stringy. And so, you, you know, if good. you have to put that into the microwave, then you can do that. Okay. But just do little mounts at a time. Or mm -hmm. if you have a fondue, um, you know, set, then Hot, definitely use that. That kind of has a warmer thing, mm -hmm. right? Mine usually comes out once a year, so like I don't. Right, it's one of those things that you buy, but then you're like, oh, I only use this once a year. Right, right. So okay. Just, like, talk to me about like I'm afraid I would like scorch the cheese or burn yes. the cheese. How do you not do that? So I keep it on just like a medium, and you just want to keep it on a nice boil. So you're gonna do chicken stock, and I'll have the recipe online. We're gonna do some okay. chicken stock, bring it to a boil, and then you slowly add your cheese while you're constantly mixing. In a figure eight pattern, I learned figure that this eight, morning. Figure eight. That's you have right. Figure eight. So if you're Good. not familiar with your numbers, you're gonna have to Google <laughs> that. So it's a good way to mis whisk it in there and kind of yeah. get it all. It's so good. Thank I mean, you. I mean, so the apple it's the was white good. sharp cheddar. White sharp mm -hmm. cheddar, and then oh, that's cool. And the right? secret okay. to it too oh. is you don't get the stuff that is in the bags, you no. know, because that already has like some powder stuff to keep it from clumping in the bag. Oh. So you always get the blocks and you shred it yourself, always, always. Shred or chop? Shred. Okay. Yeah, you saw me chop. I did. So that's like a, extra in. a little even, like makes it. Yeah, and then you just kind of sprinkle Even. it in as it's boiling, and then it kind of com combines. Awesome, so that's okay. the savory option. Yes, that's the cheesy one. Oh, that's, okay. that's more your thing, but I'm more the sweet. Yeah, I'm, yeah. You're the savory, I'm the yeah, sweet. Yeah, we have a good combo. <laughs> so I have in here just um, some, I think it's the bittersweet cocoa, it's the mm -hmm. Ghirardelli, and I have something called, um, well, it's basically the, the steam, is melting the chocolate. So I'm not sure. putting it directly over, yeah. okay? Just super important, so you it. don't want to scorch it. No, because that's gross. It is gross. Yeah, it's gross. And chocolate is very finicky, right? Yeah. So it's called a double broiler, and I just have this cute little pot, and it's red for Valentine's Day. Oh, look at right? you. I love a theme. Okay, be careful you don't get any water in there, but I'm gonna just So this is this. kind of like your own little like homemade version of a double boiler, so you yeah. know, you can kind of make makeshift, right? You don't have to like go out and get a special thing. You can Absolutely. Just kind of yeah. Improvise and, in the kitchen as it were. And you can do it for two people or you can do it for more than that. Okay. Okay, so this is our turtle flambe. Turtle. Okay, so we're gonna Ready? have to, we're gonna add caramel. We're gonna add caramel in the middle. Oh I get to participate. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put that right in the right middle. Right in the middle. Oh that's very turtley. Very turtley. I love that. Then we're gonna add in the what's gonna make the fire and this is the rum. Oh now of course always make sure you're safe. Don't be around a bunch of you know, Ready? blankets or towels. Have your or children. Children, okay. And the, oh, look at you. <gasps> We're gonna flambe. Oof. Oh, flambe. Oh, I should. There's a little Live bit of a flame under there. Right there we go. Yep. 
Now, what's the flambe for? I mean, is it so, other than just like drama and fun? Yes. So it should. Um, am I? There you go. There's a little bit of a flame on top there, and it, well, what that does is actually burns off the alcohol. Oh, and so, I like, if you have that. children, <laughs> oh, I see. And then go ahead and sprinkle. It's for the kids. Okay, and then we're gonna put the nuts on yep. there. So that's the the turtle part. That right? is the turtle. So you have the caramel oh. and the turtle and the chocolate. And then you've got strawberries and you've mm -hmm. got bacon. I mean, really, just anything from the cabinet that maybe you've had. The cabinet that you want to or, like the kind of, or the refrigerator. Or the refrigerator, yeah, exactly. right? I mean, you did bacon, which is like you yes. know. Nice crispy bacon. Nice so crispy can bacon. Dip it in there. So we're gonna dip it in there. Mm -hmm. oh. Got marshmallows, oh, donuts. Yeah. Of course, if oh, you want to do the fruit as well. Oh, I have the alcohol. <laughs> did you get it? I did. Nice. It, it was really good though. I mean, it has to have that turtle quality, which is you know we love. So that's right. Okay. Okay. Once again, Chef April does not disappoint. These are great <laughs> treats for Valentine's Day. Loving it. Awesome. Thank you. Well, that is some great savory and sweet treats from Chef April, but Nikki, you've got some uh, advice here to help us know how to decorate our table. You're from the floral department here yeah. at Martin's, doing beautiful work. Uh, is Valentine's Day one of your busiest of this whole year? It's one of our busiest holidays of the whole year in the floral department, for sure. What kind of advice do you have for folks? Shop as early as you can, that way we are still well supplied at each of our locations. So no last minute people, right? Because that's hard. I mean, you'll take them, but that does make it hard maybe sometimes to get exactly what you want. If, yep, if you're looking for something special, shop early, but don't be afraid. We will have plenty of options available between our arrangements and our plants and grab and go bouquets. Love that. So, so what do you think is the, is like the red rose the most popular for Valentine's Day? For sure, you know, it symbolizes love mm -hmm. and that's what Valentine's Day is all about. Right. Love, sharing the love. So whether it's red roses or even red daisies, if that's what you choose. So you can, and you know, the great thing about your team here at Martin's is that you can create something completely unique. So, yep. you know, you get some bonus points for not just picking up a, a grab and go, yep. which is a fine option, it is. but you can have a little more creativity and uniqueness to your loved one, which is great. Exactly. And we've got um, full designers at each of our locations that can actually help you tailor what you're looking for for your Valentine's Day arrangement. So that would be great for Valentine's Day or after you forgot the day after Valentine's yep. Day, Nikki and her team can help you get back in the good graces and out of that dog house. For sure. I'm just saying, right? So yep. thanks so much. You're give welcome. Nikki a call. Give Chef April, the, uh, they're gonna have the recipes online so you can kind of cultivate your and curate your own Valentine's Day treat for your loved one at home. And all of the things, like all good things, come from Martin's. For those last minute Valentine's gifts, head to your local supermarket. You can find more information at martins-supermarkets.com. You can also follow along with them on Facebook and Twitter as well. Well, coming up, our executive producer, Lorena, has some last minute gift ideas for Valentine's Day.